the tiger, king of the forest, a supreme expression of strength, speed, ferocity. The tiger is highly celebrated in China. Countless legends and folktales feature the great cat. During the Han Dynasty, 220 to 265 AD, Hua Tu, a famous physician, devised a five animal play based on the movements of the tiger, monkey, deer, bear, and crane. The five animal play exercise was intended for therapeutic purposes to strengthen the body internally and externally. It is thought to be the origin of all animal styles. Forms based on the movements and characteristics of the tiger blossomed into many styles and techniques, but they all emphasize the power and quickness of the fearless tiger. Aggression is expressed in every move of the great cat. Once the tiger attacks, it goes directly at its prey. Follow me then. Comes down. Step to it. All in front of you. Step wide. And striking. Very important if you see my leg to push at once. The power comes from the leg. And striking. The other hand is claw. Right. Right there. The left hand is claw. The right striking. Then after the motion, when you're out, the punch, you're going to bring elbows back to block. Block, shifting the weight. Out and remember to lean. And comes back. At once. Now you have a wide stance. You have a horse stance. A wide horse stance. Good. Right after this, from the stance, you're going to get your hands in. And remember this one. This is very powerful. Striking. Tiger claw. <laughs> Strikes out. Keep them tight. Right in front of the shoulder, elbows bent, the wrist tight. The stance is firm. <laughs> the body is tight. Then you make a fist. You remember how to form it. Get it cross in front of you and the right in the front. Keep them tight. Tight as possible. And you bend your back. You want the internal power. Come to the back now. You breathe up. And you push out. Tight. Let me show you from sideways. From this side now. You punch. See the angle of the head? Strong. Then you cross. Make fist. Back is tight. And push down. One more time. Out. Watch my breathing. It's close with the punch. Fist. What's going to happen is, do you remember the first step when you're coming down and you strike? The first is a block. Punch with that hand. Other one. Comes out and comes around you. And that's where the strike goes the first time. If I really push him, I can push him out of the way. One more time. Here. And striking. Good. Now what's happening, the other hands will come to punch. You see that's why the elbow bends. Stops right there, turns around, and <laughs> strikes to the other side. Both time, the hands comes back. If I push him there, the body goes away. That's why the angles is important. How are you going to block him? Let's see from the other angle. Comes out, and you're striking. <laughs> Very important. You see my hand is holding now. Mostly, let me tell you one other thing. Mostly, the tiger claw, not just for the strikes. Tiger claw for holding down, holding the person almost as strong to paralyze them. It's very important. No mobility for the person at all. You're holding the claws tight and hold them tight. Then you can kick him or turn him the way you want to. Okay, one more time with this hand now. And now remember the elbows up and bend. You remember that part. Comes down. In. And strikes and then come back. This position is it's called a spring position. When you spring, it means it's very flexible. What is happening, if somebody would walk up to you and you learn this punch, the execution of the punch is simple. Just stay like that. The person who walks up to you and is a bad attention, the tiger is preparing some to fight him. How are they going to prepare? People is come, come just walk up to me, not come. The strike is goes to the ribcage. Feel this one. It's like an electric shock. When it really goes, this power, this is very deadly. This punch is very deadly. 
from the side at once. <laughs> Why? It's come from the root. Comes up, comes, turns back and comes to the elbow and from the elbow is supported. 